Oh, whoa, wow. What a night tonight, folks. Saturday, NXT TakeOver, San Antonio, Texas. Which I probably botched a little in the live reaction, but uh, let's get to the review. And a lot of things happened tonight on San Antonio. I uh, did this um, NXT TakeOver special come in. Was it coming in a little bit type of weekend away, looking at the card? Uh, and someone, yeah, some people have been complaining that NXT is somewhat uh, fell flat in a way for uh, multiple reasons. I don't know, maybe because it's who they took on there and stuff, but um, still NXT, it wasn't the greatest takeover, but it was a damn great show, I will say that. Really great, the good show on different parts. I can't really say nothing bad about the matches. And there were two title changes, which I'll get to, but uh, let's kick off with Ty Dillinger versus Eric Young, uh, which was a really good uh, match to, check, to start off the show. And his sanity were out there, um, both Big Damo and um, I believe Wolf. I forget his first name sometime, but. <clears throat> yeah, but. Um, how can I say it? It was a good match, I will say that, and EY did come out with the, with the win with that neck breaker he does, which really looked clean, by the way, I will say that. It did look clean. And Dillinger was focused with a lot of the Sandy members since he had to keep dealing with them. So, uh, it, it was a lot of things going on there. But Eric Young was able to pick up the win. I did enjoy the match. Uh, Dillinger was super over, like usual, with the 10-10-10 thing. So, <laughs> yeah... <clears throat> so, it was his next for Ty Dillinger. And, you know, I've been watching Ty Dillinger on these takeover shows. And, if, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but has Ty Dillinger ever won a single takeover match? Because, like, he's he's over when he comes out, but he's always losing. Like, he always loses on takeover. Like, I would like him to get near the NXT ch championship at least. But, some people wonder now, since he's lost this match, will he be uh, in the Royal Rumble match now? <clears throat> yeah, will he will he do that? Will he um make it in the Royal Rumble now? Because some people think it is time for Ty Dillinger to go to the main roster. Thing is, you better put him on SmackDown. That Raw, you go to Raw, you're fucking dead at that point. You have you probably have a little bit of steam, and that's it. But um, looking at this match, it was a really good match. Ey went over, got the win, beat Dillinger, so. We don't know what's next for Ty. Will he even go towards the NXT title? Or will we see him, like I said before, will we see him tomorrow night in the Royal Rumble match? Hey, you never know what's going to go down with that. Uh, Andre Cien Almas went against Roderick Strong, which this match had no build-up really also, uh, which I only heard one time. I honestly thought this was about to, I honestly forgot there was going to be a match with these two, because they didn't say nothing until later on in, and kind of put it on in last minute, because they barely built it up, and you forget it was on the card, but, a um, very strong style type of match, if you ask me, guys beat the hell out of each other, elbow shot, elbow shot, elbow shot, elbow shot, just elbows all over the place that you did not know what to do, and, and CN was doing, um, great out of, probably the best match he's had in a while, because I haven't think, I still think he hasn't been over, I don't know if he still clicked as a heel yet, because I at one point I still think he comes out as a male stripper, and it's a good thing he did turn him heel, and they, I don't know, I still think he need to put the mask back on him, because it wasn't working out well for him, but um, Roderick Strong picked up the win once again with that, pretty much with those elbows, and they hit a, pretty much hit a knee to his head at the Dashi uh, Hammerlock DDT by Almas, and then he hit him with the sick kick for the win. Roderick Strong picked up the win out there. Uh, Samoa Joe was uh, sitting by ringside. Uh, most likely he will be in the Royal Rumble match tomorrow, as everyone said, and we haven't seen him on NXT lately, so if he shows up at the Rumble, I wouldn't say, well, I'm sure it'll be a big surprise to everybody, but I think he will be going to the Rumble at this point, so don't be surprised if we do see him on there. Uh, next match, Tag Team Championships is on the line, the NXT Tag Team Champions. Um... Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, DIY versus Authors of Pain. Paul Ehring was out there, and wow, a match that, um, I'll say this, a lot of these matches didn't go long, if you ask me, but, uh, really good match. Um, Authors of Pain, I was wondering how they, they were ever going to beat the Authors of Pain, really, because 
Officer Payne was throwing them all over the place and dodging their moves, but Bar Gargano and Champa just kept coming back with the submissions and his knees and super kicks. But when he kind of came down to the end of the show, uh, well, end of the show, end of the match, they were about to go for that super kick and knee, but the Authors of Pain dodged it, picked both of them up power bomb style, threw them into each other, then power bomb them, and then they pretty much get the last chapter on Champa, and then we have new NXT champions, Authors of Pain, with Paul Elring handed them the titles then. So, you know, they, and all this been built to be a dominant team mostly. They won the Dusty Classic and now they're the champions. And it was, it was a good, it was a really good match. And, you know, Gar Gargano and Champa, they took a lot of pain out there, but they, they came back with a lot mm -hmm. of uh, flow as people just kept chanting DIY, DIY. But here's another important part of the night. That's another important part of the night. Seth motherfucking Rollins. Seth Rollins, folks. Seth Rollins. Which, finally, they put some life into this feud. Because I still think Seth Rollins, or even Roman Reigns, when he, when he got screwed out of the title, should have showed up on that, uh, you know, that CWC Live thing, or the UK thing. But Seth Rollins came out saying, I'm taking over this bitch. I won't. I'm taking over this bitch. That was the um, quote of the night, if you ask me. And he called out Triple H. And he said, you know, he's backstage, you know, he's watching. Triple H came out, man, which he pretty much got security to come out as Rollins was taking him out. But more security guards came and fans chanted, let him go, let him go. And the crowd was super hot for that. So the crowd really woke up when they saw Triple H and Seth Rollins out there. Um, finally set up a little bit more for the match at um, WrestleMania, most likely, which we've been kind of knowing that for months. But... Since we've known that for months and everything, but um, with these two, but at least they finally did something that in a hot way, like they put in a good atmosphere. Number one, not at the Rumble, but they put it at uh, NXT Takeover, which he can go, uh, go into Triple H's house and you know mess some stuff up. Now let Seth Rollins do that. Finally, get to get some steam into this because no one has cared for this feud, and then Seth Rollins has not done anything since he was screwed out of being in the. Royal Rumble and stuff, so, uh, yeah, but we, we, we got something really great out of that. i to check a message real quick here. <laughs> Sorry, I just uh, got to check a message right here. But um, as we move on, uh, after Seth Rollins came out there and did his thing, uh, next was the NXT Women's Championship was on the line. We had Asuka, Nikki Cross, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, which this match was a good match. I will say that. It kind of ended before anything really picked up. But it was pretty much Billy Kay and Peyton Royce mostly attacking uh, Asuka and Nikki Cross when they were going one on one with each other. Even though Nikki Cross damn near really killed Asuka doing that swinging like type of DDT off the apron, and Asuka come back with those kicks. But when it kind of came down to it, fans went holy shit from that. Even when holy shit when Billy Kay and Peyton Royce attacked Nikki Cross and threw put her through a we thought it was gonna be the broadcast table, but it was a table next to it and they put her through that. And they went back to attack uh, Asuka, which I thought Asuka did a really cool fucking double German suplex on both of them. But they Royce in with a widow's peak, and they thought they were about to get um, Asuka, but she kicked out. And then Asuka just kind of came back with three fucking crazy kicks and roundhouse kicks and murdered her. Like, hey, this match really got in before it even picked up. Like I said, this show wasn't really that fast, but this show was only two, two hours really at most. Two hours for this show. And it was... It was really good. People think Oscar was gonna lose her title, maybe to one of them, since if she wasn't pinned. Honestly, I thought Oscar was gonna wipe the floor with all these motherfuckers, really, because it wasn't Ember Moon in the match, and they probably won't save that till WrestleMania weekend 
for that match. So um, Oscar Seal retains, and that will that will go. Uh, next, the entrances for Bobby Roode and Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, Roode did his glorious thing and had women come out with him, and Nakamura, which I wish it kind of came out with another violinist, but came out with a bunch of on a platform really and was pretty much on a platform with a whole bunch of lights as he came down to the ring doing his entrance which they were still very cool entrances but I like the violin better I thought this match wasn't gonna go that long because was only like 15 minutes left into the show but um it was still a great match after did I think it dragged a little not not much I'll say that but the crowd once again the crowd kept this show alive on like them and they're chanting this this going with Nakamura Bobby Roode Nakamura, Bobby Roode, and I could have swore I heard a beer, money, beer, money chant at one point. Like they, they were, they were chanting everything out there, um, singing Nakamura's theme song, saying "Glorious." Like there was so much going on in this match, but most of it was targeted towards uh, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura's leg, which I thought Nakamura was gonna win the match after he fucking kicked the living crap out of Roode. Once he got back in the ring, but he, his knee was still hurt after he did it on the outside of the ring. Which Rude pretty much came back in with a glorious DDT after the doctors checked on him. Which we thought was over, but he hit put him into a, um, you know, a one-legged single crab after, you know, taking those Kinshasa's after that. And he pretty much, his doctors checked on him and, um, Albert, whatever, Matt Bloom came out because Rigo wasn't there due to the illness that, uh, uh, he pretty much uh, hit him with that one-legged Boston Crab, beating his knee, beating it, beating it, beating it, beating it, beating his fucking knee out there. Um, that um, he, he just he went in that tap, but he had another DDT on him. And we have a new NXT Championship. This match, someone went over to 30 minutes. I was right that it was going to, I told somebody that, all right, this is going to go over uh, the 9 o'clock mark. Then it will go another 15 minutes, which I was really right on the money right there with that. And it was a great main event, a huge main event, really. No one didn't expect that title change, I believe, but uh, people did the glorious chance and whatever, and some people wonder now, since Bobby Roode is the champion, will Nakamura be in the Royal Rumble now, some people say, since he's dropped the title. Or, I, to be honest, I think they will catch the, keep this feud going, or I don't know, will Nakamura win it like he did with Joe at a different uh, thing that wasn't televised on TV, but at a live event? I don't know. I don't know how that will go out to be, but um, really great show. Some people said it's going to be um, Nakamura versus uh, Cassius Ono for the title, or I don't know, Chris motherfucking Hero, if you want to say that, but uh, there's a lot of now questions really going into this, and we, uh, come on, he sold that knee injury really well, really well, uh, Nakamura. You really believe he was hurt and his knee was that bad and fucked up out there, but... Uh, he sold it well, so I, I don't know, but Bobby Roode, he is the NXT champion. It's going to get glorious now, NXT is. NXT will be glorious now. Like I said, the guy the guy has done it all, uh, Roode, every, everywhere. Hey, um, tag team champion, a tag team specialist, I would say. Um, I don't know if I want to say King Mountain champion. TNA World Champion, and now NXT Champion. It Factor, Beer Money, Glorious, whatever you want to call it, he is now the champion. Wasn't the greatest NXT TakeOver, but San Antonio sure held up. As some people said, it was a weak card, really. But they kept up with the five matches they had, and the crowd enjoyed it, and it was really great. You got to see Tyler Bate out there for a second. So, overall, great show. But now people wonder, as the Royal Rumble comes tomorrow night, how will that go? Well, NXT usually, once again, I still feel like with these takeovers now that they outshine all the fucking main event pay-per-views. Because we saw that, really. They outdid WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and uh, Survivor Series, if you ask me. But, um, I don't know if... I don't know, some people said Vince had a hand at this, but... If he tried to make the NXT card weak because he doesn't want, um... He doesn't want the Royal Rumble to be outshined. Again, NXT damn near outshines y'all motherfuckers every other time. But as stacked with this Royal Rumble match is for tomorrow night, we don't know what's gonna happen. So, uh, that's the thing. So, I don't know it's gonna be a era... A new, it's a new era of NXT or something, but... 
a huge title change out there. I've got live reactions up. They will be posted later on throughout the night, but I had to get this review in. A very great uh, takeover match. We will see you tomorrow night for the Royal Rumble match also. I really did enjoy the show. I'm sure live reactions will show that also. If you can complain about the me looking at my phone thing, uh, whatever. Because I'm sure we had that during that Goldberg versus Lesnar match last time when I did that. They was like, stop looking at the fucking phone. Stop looking at the phone and focus on the match. I was focused on the match. Just had to take care of a message on there. But there's maybe the new gimmick now. But, you know, like I said, uh, NXT San Antonio, San Antonio, great show. Crowd kept it alive. It was over. I uh, can't really say that bad thing about it. Not the greatest ones, but it was put on a damn great show. Can't argue with that, folks. Very great show out there tonight for um, NXT San, San Antonio. And like I said, we will see you tomorrow night live for the Royal Rumble. And, um, hey, have a great match because, what can I say, NXT may have just gotten glorious. But I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. See you tomorrow night.